Hi everyone, welcome back to R2 Great Battles. Here we are, number three squadron of the RAF, and tough in exile is the commander. Nice. Uh, after our promotion last time, we are now the uh, the leader and the commander of this squadron, which is um, is pretty pretty special, really. Um, especially with all our uh, air kills and, and the work we've been doing in our short career so far. We have a mission today. We and will be leading the flight, obviously being flight leader. Uh, to attack an enemy rail junction. Uh, so we've taken off from uh, home base, flying, oh, we're flying down to one, down to two, and then heading straight over to Essen, where the attack is obviously taking place on the uh, on the railway line there, and then uh, heading straight back as quick as we can, then uh, heading back. That's a weird way. I don't know why we just don't then head up there. I don't, who knows, but there's got to be a reason for it. Uh, we're going to be wing, or we're going to be flight lead, I beg your pardon. Wing round number one is going to be John Foster. Wingman two is Philip Spencer. Wingman three, Walter Simpson. Wingman four, Rodney Scott. Wingman five, Ralph Harris. Uh, wingman six, Robert Harris, or if they're related. And wingman seven, Ronald Miller. There's a lot of, there's there's four people with a name starting with R. That's And there's, Richard's not amongst them. That's quite rare, isn't it? I don't know. Anyway, uh, date is the 21st of October 1944. Takeoff time will be 15.17. That's uh, 17 minutes past 3 in the afternoon. Weather, heavy clouds at 8,700 feet. Layer thickness, 2,700 feet. Wind at ground level, west by north, 20 miles an hour, no turbulence. Target approach altitude will be 5,000 feet. Estimated target altitude is 400 feet. Um, primary objective, according to the most recent recon data, there has been an increase in activity at the rail station marked on waypoint 3 of your flight map. Take off immediately and hit any targets you find in that area. As always, be on the lookout for enemy fighter patrols. Wonderful. Right, let's have a look at our Tempest. Do we get bombs? Do we, Ek? <laughs> no, no bombs. Again, I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why, but... um. Yeah, it's it is what it is. It doesn't matter. We got a full tank fuel, got full um, Hispano cannon ammunition loaded. Uh, let's head to the aircraft. Right, here we are. Ready to go, boys. Flares gone. Permission granted. Let's feed in the power. I've got to lock the tail wheel to begin with. Now I have. I right, bring in full power. Give it the beans, and away we will go. Right, speed's alive. And we are away. Let's have a look for these targets then. See the railway yard anywhere? No, it's down. Let's um, turn up. Oh, we've got a bit of flak coming up. They know we're here. Alright, they've got that railroad going through the middle of town again. Oh, look, you can see the steam from a steam train. And what looks to be a like a, uh, a train yard shelter has been uh, destroyed. Yeah, there's definitely steam trains and some vehicles down there. Right. Um, let's get the... Uh, attack ground targets. Oh, they don't want to do that apparently. I don't like attacking ground targets. I give the, uh, I give the order. 
grenades on my tail. Um, just in that case, copy me. No. I don't like some of these commands, you know. I give them, but they don't. They don't pay any attention whatsoever. So if I go patrol for ground targets, hey, cool. search for enemy aircraft. There Ready we go. Engage. Oh. Out. Sorry, I wanted that one. Hey, cool. Patrol Whoa. for ground targets on your own. Out. And the aircraft fire is um. It's coming in quite hot. A gun down there somewhere. Oh yeah, there's loads of guns down there. Right. Okay. We'll try and keep the speed up then and um, keep dodging this ground fire. And we're going to come in and do a run on that train. See the steam? Oh god, this is why I almost died last time. Not the same town, mind, but the same kind of situation. Here we go. Lots of vehicles as well. Let's have a shot at those vehicles. Tanks while it's it. Fire coming up. Maybe we can maybe take a bit of that ground fire off our boys. If we come in. <laughs> oh no. What are the rest of the squadron doing? Are they coming in? Let's see if we can pick off another gun or two, mobile gun. Gives them a little bit more protection. Right, there's one just in front of that building. You see the, uh, the anti air. Oh no, where, where are they? I thought there he is, there he is. There's two of them, in fact. Come. Bugging sort of swoop in as well. Take a little bit of the uh, the fire off the um, the guys. Got to do the role of a leader now. There we go. I've distracted them. Going in. There's one down that street corner. Might be a bit challenging to get to there, but. No. Just wide. Big battery of anti aircraft guns over there, so we'll stay away from that. Okay, 
Yeah, they all made a run. Some more fighters over the. Uh... You've all made a run, have you guys? It's all about getting experience as well. That's an enemy aircraft. I thought that doesn't look like a tempest. Hang on there, boy. I'm coming. Oh, he's got him. Got a hit on him. When did these turn up? Oh, don't black out now. Crikey, that was scary. Where are they? Where? That's the Tempest. Ah, uh, look, they're, they're all, I think they've found him, look. I think these are all Tempest going for that 1 109, are they? It's close. Yes, they are. Get him, boys. Get him. Whoa. Lovely. Look at all of sights. Uh, that is a Tempest as well. Lovely. Work together. That's a Tempest. Well, that's a dangerous manoeuvre. Don't do that again, my friend. Where is he? I do not want to see an orange glow on the landscape anyway. Okay, good. He didn't survive that. Maybe he wasn't as low as I thought he was. Right, we've got some aircraft over there. We've got a bit of a, a furball going on there. Who is the... I'm guessing... You're a Tempest. Acorn 2, engaging fighter to the north. Range about 2 miles. Right. Right, hold it there. Let's not black out. Who are they attacking? They're obviously swarming someone. Ah, oh, there he is. 109. On, boys. If I'm gonna just sit here and um, watch them take on a 109, then I will do. I think that aircraft is trying to get on my tail. Look at him. You growling in or? Oh, I won't roll in. I'll let them. I'm like the schoolmaster, teaching them how to. Uh, to do it, so I'll just oversee and get in if things get a little bit dicey. Come on, guys, I can take the shot from here. I wouldn't, but you know. There you go, good, good first effort. Keep firing. He's flying. What is my mighty ducks? Careful, careful, everyone. Do not fly into squadron lead. Or flight lead. Oh, I am squadron lead, aren't I? I'm the commander. Come on. My patience is only so... Ah, good hits, good hits. My patience is only so much. Let's keep an eye out for any other... Nice one. Okay, they both got bit. Nice. Some more anti-aircraft guns. Right, if there's nothing else, I think we can say that's a job well done. And, uh, fantastic leadership. <laughs> I might do one more strafe. Come on. One more strafe. Got some vehicles there. Let's not hit anything. God, that flag's getting a bit accurate, isn't it? Soft targets there. Don't seem to be able to hit a, a barn door today, but. Do 
one more, one more pass. This is a bit silly, it's a bit tight. Oh, rubbish. Absolute rubbish. And I can hear the guns are low. So, everyone. I saw, saw the light flicker as those um, shells zoomed over my head. Right. that I'm trying to do the command to return to base, but it doesn't seem to be um, working. So, um... Great. Oh, oh, are they? They may be. They may be RTB. Okay, that's fine. Let's go, boys. Let's go. We've caused a little bit of a a panic for them. We've made a little bit of a little bit of noise. Let's get home. For some team medals. Ah, not a bad first mission. Obviously, Acorn Three was wounded, but um, hopefully, he'll be okay. Right. We're going to make a run for it. I'll see you in a bit. Hi everyone, welcome back. Yeah, we're just returning to base now. I've got the we're just making our way back to base now. We've got a smoking. Um, oh, one of our buddies is smoking by the looks of it. Are you okay, buddy? Or is he just gunning his engines? Even not. I don't think. I think that's an enemy. I can't see the, you know, the air box underneath the, the nose. Now our buddies were down here. My flight. So there's the smoking ruins. Are you? Hang on, let me close in on you. See who you are. If you are a, a late intruder coming to cause a little bit of mayhem, then I may have a round, well I won't have many rounds left, but I will certainly give you what I have. If there's one, that means there may be more. I'm leaning close to the screen to see if it is indeed. It looks... It looks... Acorn A, Roger. It looks like a that kind of profile looks like a, a 190. It's just got the uh, yeah the, the the winds sort of go up a little bit towards the edges. Yeah, and it's got the fat radial engine that looks like a 190. If he can't see me, let me stay slightly below him in his blind spot. Let me fly and see what I've got in the way of ammunition left. Yep. Uh, the aircraft and the aircraft is coming in. Here we go. He's coming in range. Requested landing approach. Over. That's all I've got. That's all I've got. It was a. It was a one ninety. Roger. What are you doing? This is Acorn 5, requesting landing approach. Over. Alderwood, this is Acorn 5, requesting landing approach. Over. I'll scare him Acorn out of the sky. Proceed. We get him into a maneuver he can't. If nothing else, we've just defended our uh, the rest of our flight who are landing. Can't believe we've run out of damage. He may run out of fuel, or whatever fluids he's leaking. I don't think I have to finish him off, but I can maybe panic him into doing some tight manoeuvres and losing control. God, I've overshot. I've overshot. <laughs> don't do anything now, stupid now, You don't want to crash. Acorn 2, copy. Alderwood, this is Acorn 6. Flight requesting landing approach. 
Over. Well, there we go. He All easily moves. managed to evade me. Seven. Requesting landing approach. Over. Encore. Proceed. The hell did he go? Encore. Seven. Roger. No, I thought he might have gone in then. That was just an anti-aircraft shell by accident. Okay, I've lost him. She's a little bit unnerving. Alderwood, this is Acorn Six, requesting landing clearance. Over. Acorn, affirmative. Clear to land. He doesn't seem to be in the immediate vicinity, so we're going to head to base and uh, get down and end the mission. Acorn, this is Acorn. Flight requesting landing approach. Over. Acorn, proceed. Okay. Acorn, Roger. Landing permission granted. Which way is the wind going? Okay, it's this runway then. It's coming towards us. That's good. Oh no, he's damaged me. He's damaged me. Oh. Where did he come from, the little devil? Whew. I've got no ammunition, my aircraft is absolutely crook. I wasn't even prepared for that. Right. I'm wondering if I need to bail out of this because I've got full left stick to fly like this. And you can see I've got the rudder on as well. Altitude. The buildings of the airfield. Yeah, oh, I don't need to be attacked on landing again, please. Oh my god. Go away. Right, I'm the squadron commander. I'm close to the cannon guys. Oh, no, actually, no, let's keep the canopy open just in case I'm. Oh, they fail. I'm sorry I shot at you. on my tail. Where's the airfield? Here it is. Let's get some anti-aircraft, friendly anti-aircraft firing to the air, please. I'm coming in flat out. Oh god, we're coming in hot. Hang on. Oh, we're badly damaged. Come on, let's just try and get this down. By anyone. Oh my god, not again!
Crikey Moses. Deep breath. Deep breath. That mission seemed to be going well, then it all of a sudden seemed to be going horrifically badly. They're definitely looking to pick us off as we land. Crikey. Mission accomplished. Secondary objective, primary target, take off completed. We completed an emergency landing after 47 minutes 35 seconds, of which we did not shoot down an aircraft, so he survived. Uh, we destroyed two vehicles. Two trucks, that probably is. Um, no, oh, we didn't get credit for the locomotive, so I didn't destroy that. And I didn't do anything else either. So pretty much, uh, even though it was mission accomplished, not a great time. Okay, here we go. Debriefing. The enemy rail junction. Accomplished. The mission was accomplished, however, at great expense. Commander Taffin Exile lost his aircraft. Survived with two uh, bit transport kills. Um, John Foster shot down and killed, sadly. Uh, Philip Spencer lost and captured. Oh, we must have lost him over enemy territory then. I didn't hear... Oh, maybe is that three? Was he um, three went down, didn't he? He said he was wounded. Maybe he bailed out. Uh, Walter Simpson survived and got two aircraft kills. Well done, Walter. Rodney Scott lost his aircraft and sadly died as well. I wonder if they were picked off when we were landing um, after we went down. However, a new day begins in number three squadron, and uh, we live to fight another J. Just about, just about. I need to make sure I've got ammo when I come back into base. I don't think it was the aircraft I pinged. I don't think it was the one I, you know, I sent a few shots into. Uh, that seemed like a perfectly f functioning aircraft that um, shot me, not shot me down, but um, encouraged me to land very quickly. Um, air operations were suspended on the 22nd of October to the 28th of October, probably due to some bad weather. And the weather looks better now, so we can go again. Do I actually get to choose? Ten. Oh, do I get to repair them? Well, you look at here. I get to modify all the various aircraft. That's pretty cool. That's something I haven't seen before. Nice. Put myself at the top. <laughs> Why not? Uh, so next time we'll be uh, covering some ground troops. But for now, let's go and see. Now that we're overseeing number three squadron. Um, wow, look at that. Eight pilots. Eight pilots. But we have 150 kills uh, with planes to our name. Uh, 83 vehicle, 22 railroad, 50 heavy weapons, 38 buildings, 20 marine. Um, yeah, look at that. Crikey. And 18 Tempests. Right, so hopefully we'll get an another influx of uh, brave volunteer pilots to um, fill out the squadron a little bit. There's Walter Simpson. He's doing well, isn't he? What's Walter doing? Uh, Walter, there you go. Three, oh, so, yeah, he only had one kill prior to this, but three hours, and he's got three kills and three hours flying. That's not bad. That's not bad. Um, Rolf Harris hasn't really, um, or well, Rolf Harris hasn't really done much. Uh, but he's alive. He's only got one hour flight experience, so that's fine. Robert Harris, five kills. Ronald Miller, two kills. Good stuff. Uh, Me Melvin Stevens, is he new? Because, um, He's a deputy commander, but he doesn't seem to have flown. So that could be a bit worrying. Anyway, anyway, we survived just about for another day. We will be taking up our squadron again next time and see if we can uh, get a better result. Look at that, 55 kills for planes in our personal tally. Nine vehicles, and that's about it. Crikey. Right, we're going to leave it there. Another almost terrible ending to the video but thanks so much for watching take care i hope you enjoyed this if you are hit that thumbs up and if you want to see some more make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new video content coming my your way um cool take care i'll see you next time Bye bye